Hi everyone, this is Hari Haran, you are uh, uh, BEEE staff. This COVID-19 have stopped the entire world. But a new type of learning begins here. Let us go for the new learning. And this is my presentation to you on moving ion instruments, which is a topic in unit 5 measurement and instrumentation okay let us now see the syllabus of the unit 5 measurement and instrumentation so these are the syllabus for you and i'm going to concentrate on this topic types of indicating instruments in this uh, presentation so there are two types of indicating instruments one a permanent magnet moving coil it is short, it is shortly called as pmmc another one is moving ion instrument we used to call this as emi instruments so in the next slide we'll i'll discuss about moving ion so before going into the topic We'll, disc, we'll see the uh, real pictures of the meters. Yes. This is a volt meter. And you can see the pointers, a scale. Everything is shown in the diagram. Next, another meter. And a meter. And final one. A volt meters. The various meters I have shown here. You might have seen these meters somewhere in the lab, in your home, or in some places. And have you ever thought how this meter works? Whenever you are connecting, uh, uh, connecting across any uh, signal, you might have seen the deflection of readings. But how it works, I am sure at the end of this presentation, you will understand how the meter works. So let us now understand the basic behind the uh, meters. So here, uh, present here, uh, you can see how a moving coil meter works. So let us take a meter, uh, a picture I have shown, a meter. Okay, it may be an ammeter, a volt meter, any other meter. This meter has a scale. We call this a scale, and it has a pointer. And this pointer is mounted on some shaft. The construction will be seen later and you have an electromagnet okay and it has two pointers two uh, probe connector so the unknown signal that you're going to measure will be applied across this two probes now see when no probes are connected across these two terminal this meter will behave as an open switch and no current flows into the beater hence no current flows in the coil when no current flowing the coil generates no magnetic field and the pointer stays at zero as shown here let us let us connect a probe let us connect a probe here let us connect a probe here Like this, if I connect a probe with some supply, with some supply, say AC supply, okay, the current will immediately start flow through the meter and the coil inside it. The moving current creates a temporary magnetic field around the coil that ripples the magnetic field created by the permanent magnet. The strength of the magnetic field is directly related to the size of the current that flows to the coil. Now you can see a small GIF where uh, the pointer has been connected, where the probe is connected, the pointer deflects. Okay, the deflection is dependent on the current that is flowing on the six. Hope you understand the a small GIF 
of a meter. Now, before going to the construction of moving ion instruments, you should know some essential requirements of any instruments. Okay. So, any indicating instruments will have a pointer which moves over a calibrated scale and which is attached to the moving system devoted at which will bear it. We will consider the various torques acting on its moving system. And basically it has three types of torque. One, deflecting torque or it is called as operating torque. Other one, control torque or restoring torque. The third one and the final one, damping torque. Three torques are the most important torques in the meters. So let us explain briefly about uh, each torque. First one, deflecting torque. The deflecting torque causes the moving system to move from its zero position. In the previous slides, I have shown a meter that is rested on zero position. When a signal is applied across the probe, you see uh, a pointer moves or I can say a pointer is reflected. So, so the pointer that move from zero position from its zero position to some scale, we call it as deflecting torque. The next one, controlling torque. Once the meter is deflected, it has to be controlled. So, it is a torque which controls the movement of pointer on a particular scale according to the quantity of electricity passing through it. The controlling forces are the required, the controlling force are required to control the deflection or rotation or, or rotation and bring the pointer to zero position when there is no force, when there is no power. It has two types of controlling torque. One is gravity control, another one is spring control. Based on the meters, either gravity or spring control is, will be. The third one is your damping torque. The damping torque is one which acts on the moving system of the instrument only when it is moving and always opposes its motion. Such damping force is necessary to bring the pointer to rest quickly. Otherwise, due to inertia of the moving system, the pointer will oscillate like pendulum about its deflected position for a quite a some time before coming to the rest of the steady position. And uh, uh, different types of damping torques are available. Number one, air friction damping, fluid friction damping, and eddy current damping. Generally, this uh, now back to the topic. Generally, this moving ion instrument is used to measure AC current or AC voltage. To measure DC, we have a PMMC meter, which is already discussed. Okay, but with without any modification, even this MI instruments can be used for DC current and DC voltage measurements. Let us go with the definition. The instrument in which the moving ion is used for measuring the flow of current or voltage is known as the moving ion instruments. Now you can understand why this name comes. Because this instrument has moving ion. It works on the principle. You know the basic principle. Whenever uh, an iron rod is placed near the magnet, it attracts towards the same principle behind here also. The force of attraction is dependent on the strength of the magnetic field. And that magnetic field is directly proportional to the current passing through it. Now classification of MI instruments, it comes in two forms. One, attraction type M and I, MI instruments, repulsion type MI instruments. We will discuss one by one. First, the construction of attraction type moving ion instruments. I have shown a two diagram here. On the left hand side, the color image, the right hand side, 
the gray skin okay both are same diagram just to represent i have given i have shown here let us see the construction so according to the construction it is a two this is a coil okay it is vertically mounted we represent this as a coil here also this is a coil and a pointer pointer okay this pointer is mounted on a balance weights and also it is connected to the damping chamber here also you can see it is represented like this a balance weight w1 and w2 and this is your air friction damper and this pointer is pointed over the scale okay and the most important part of the machine is this uh, a vein okay a moving ion a soft moving ion okay i hope you understand this uh, constructional diagram i will explain i hope you understand uh, the working of uh, moving ion instruments uh, one second i will explain so we have a coil here we have a coil here when when an unknown signal is passed across this coil this coil gets magnetized due to the magnetization this uh, moving ion instrument will now move inwards will now move inwards if this moves inwards the pointer deflects like this that is it moves around the scale so according to the magnetic flux produced this pointer moves when it moves the control torque is provided by the help of a springs or a gravity control here a gravity control is used and for damping here air friction damping is used okay so you put is clear now we will now move to the moving ion instruments for repulsion type in repulsion type there are two vanes inside the coil one is fixed and another one is movable so you can see a different construction arrangement this is called a fixed coil okay and this is your movable coil okay movable one so the fixed two vanes i say two vanes one vane is connected in the fixed coil another vane is connected in the movable handle okay so the uh, and here they use a spring control and this is your pointer and you will have a scale here okay in this type a uh, vanes are radial strips of iron the strips are placed within the coil as shown the fixed vane is attached to the coil and the movable one to the spindle of the instruments so whenever a current is flowing the deflection of these the difference of flux between the deflection of these two will be pointed here okay and uh, another types is coaxial van coaxial van type this is another uh, construction arrangement okay the same way here also you can see a uh, two vanes are there but it is in the form of coaxial this is called a fixed vane this is called a mobile vane okay so the same way same principle everything is same okay here you can even uh, have a gravity controls you can use damping torque is again air friction okay so it is clear that whenever uh, whatever may be the direction of current in the coil of the instrument the iron ones are so magnetized that they are there is always a force of attraction in the attraction type and repulsion type of instruments the moving ion instruments are unpolarized instruments they are independent of the direction in which the current passes therefore these instruments can be used on both ac and dc so let us see the advantages of mi instruments first it can be used for universal use because ac and dc can be measured less uh, frictional error okay the frictional error is very less in the moving ion instrument because the torque weight ratio is high the torque weight ratio is high because the current carrying part is stationary and the moving parts are light in weight cheapness the mi instruments requires less number of turns 
as compared to PMMC instruments that thus it is cheaper. Robustness. So the instrument is robust because of the simple construction and also because their current carrying part is. And even though you have a lot of advantage, you'll have some disadvantages. So accuracy. The scale of the moving iron instrument is not uniform and hence the accurate result is not possible. At the start, you may see there will be a, a non-uniform scales. So you cannot measure an accurate value. Errors. Some serious errors occurs in the instrument because of the stresses, frequency and stray magnetic field. And waveform errors. The MI instruments, the deflection torque is not directly proportional to the square of the current because of which the waveform errors occurs in the instruments. The difference between AC and DC calibration. The calibration of the AC and DC are differed because on the effect of inductance of meters and the eddy current which is used on AC. The AC is calibrated on the frequency at which they use.